I just wanna hang. Like no, what makes you wanna hang about this man? I am scared of this man. Hello, hi, Saubona, and welcome to Marsha Safe Space. This is a space where I share my mind in hopes that you will share your mind with me. Welcome. I am back with another one and if you're a fan of reality TV show, you know exactly who I'm going to talk about today. She's an entrepreneur and she is in the Real Housewives of Durban. She is a mother, an all-round entertainer and she has been in the news. You know me, I always bring you people who are hip and happening. I mean, Nongku Williams, Namchanjege, Ngizokulma, Jengayenj. That's in Gite, she's trending. Let us put the spotlight on Nongku. What do we know about Nongku? What we might not know about Nongku? So let us get right into it. But before we get right into it, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, of course. You like this video, you share this video, and then most importantly, you leave your comment. Because remember, I am here to share my mind in hopes that you will share your mind with me, okay? Before we get into the juice of the juices, I just want to say, in life, you really don't get it all, hey? You don't usually have the peace, the beauty, the brains, the money, the happiness. Usually, things come seasonal. But we are not there because I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm just laying ground so that I can say that Onongu is a very, very complex woman. She was, she got very famous, a figure, because, you know, she actually has a child with Usfi Sonwani. Yes, the late singer, if you didn't know that now, you know, I mean, like, Ucheli Wubindanabandi, if you didn't know this tiny little detail, which literally caused so much Yebe, 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 on the first season of The Real Housewives. Anyway, she does have Umdana with Usfiso Nwane. And then she seems to have a little lot of drama surrounding e love life. Yeah, Recently, she has announced that she's in a relationship with Umnong Zanwala Lansi. Bamubi Zango Raf Diamond. Bamubi Zango KRP or whatever it is. But this man, if you didn't know this, is not a simple, you know, maybe village boy who doesn't have drama. No, 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 no. As I said, Nongu is a very complex woman. So with her, expect anything. Tua is a convicted sexual offender. I know the Tewa. They're actually cut documents which people were publishing on social media which confirmed or rather seemed to confirm that the man is actually a registered sex offender or rather he was convicted for a sexual assault so we are going to sit again and I know we are here to talk about Nungku and you know, women, whatever, but we avoid drama in our own lives, guys. Let's be honest. We avoid drama in our own lives so that we can, you know, indulge in other people's drama. And it is a little bit better if those people publish the drama for our entertainment. So, Yazini, let us indulge. Anyway, Uputilo Wagandansi is apparently owing people in Dodge as a mile and a phone back of Hela instead. Uputilo Wagandansi, Uti Uzoba, home. But I'm not sure to talk about that because it is all alleged, you know. But Upsisi Ushilo on Facebook, there were also videos you know, circling around social media of her post and her conversation with the interviewer from Josie Chu, or rather, Luxislo on a page, it was a Chu. From my research, I think she is like most of us, you know, most black women, she is troubled here and there. She has her complexities, as I've mentioned, and you know, like any other person, also under the sun, she is not perfect. Mina, from my own research, what I've gathered is that, you know, she seems to choose men which are very questionable. Besides his face on man, I'm not sure of his character. I don't know his character, but you know, Unonkuyena specifically, because 
she when it comes to her love life and picking men she seems to pick men you know and she did say this in her interview with felix on gagasi fm that you know she seems to be attracted you know i don't know now she doesn't know she attracts these people but she was alluding to the fact that she pays you know but that then can you know it leaves a lot to interpretation i can you know conclude so many things from the passages she said in her interview with felix Lop. so her husband was an abuser and also let us not forget how that changes a person you know it really does leave leave one with trauma and all of that so that also could contribute to her complexities you know the way we see her on the show the real house of durban so if that could contribute too anyway now she is in love with this questionable character Mina, I want to be a Mina, I, I, there was an episode where she was like, yeah, I hope he's genuine, blah, 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 blah. I think she was also speaking to the fact that, you know, if, you know, can this one be the one? Because as I'm going to go back to the interview with Felix, she did say that when she got married to her first husband, was it the interview with Felix? I don't remember, but I remember where she was saying that when she got married to her first husband, all she wanted was, you know, to get married. She didn't care how he treated her, you know, and all of those things. He, she, she just did not care. She just wanted to get married. She wanted to see herself as a messes. So maybe she's the type of people who get blinded by love because honestly, everyone including myself and all of my friends <laughs> we all question this Ndlanzi guy like who like he looks scary to me i would not even stop if that man stops me i would not i would literally try and remember what my mom told me as a child don't talk to strangers literally walk away because that man scares me and my uncle says literally uh, in, in in one episode uh, in, in, the, in the real house of Durban that you know hmm, i just wanna hmm, i just wanna hmm. like no oh, what makes you wanna hmm about this man i am scared of this man just by looking at him i am so sorry i'm not trying to say he looks like whatever but he scares me i don't wanna lie i wouldn't want to be lived in the same room as that man people on twitter seem to agree with me that he is quite a scary man but you know it's not all that drama it's not all that bad negativity that you know we can say about nungu i can also say that she is a pastor do you do you know our girl Nunguleko, is a pastor so she spoke also about being a pastor and what it means and the duties that she has to do you know the role of being a pastor how does it come about she did say that you know it was a calling for her and you know even in the real house of South Durban, we are queen. They actually love God because every now and again they speak of God, they speak of the Holy Spirit, they speak. So she is a person who is, you know, in tune with her spirituality. She is one, you know, with her spiritual. She is a spiritual woman. So Umamboni on the real house of Durban, because a lot of people on social media do say that she drinks a lot. She does also speak about that. She did say she did not deny that she takes alcohol in the interview. She did say that, you know, she does drink because, you know, she runs big businesses and all of those things. So with the pressures of life and whatever, she spoke something along those lines. So, whatever. she's actually a pastor. I'm not sure whether she's ordained or not, but she did confirm that she is a pastor. So, yeah, there are a lot of things about Nungu that we can say that are just perfect and good and amazing, I swear. She wears so many hats, so many hats, especially in business. She is an impeccable businesswoman and she has a record to show for it. You know, she's in construction and apparently she's in grade seven or level seven, but it is that stage, you know, where they are like a boss or something. That's level. She's in construction. She is in um, logistics. She is in wine. She has a wine brand. Can you imagine? These are things that are just so amazing. This is just a black woman like you and I. So we can also take that from her. If you didn't know that, you thought, I wonder. 
Losi si lona oti ye, nu ni inga ni nusu fiso. Losi si lona, o ui tata bile maile. Nungu has worked, hey? She has worked. Apparently she started working like she was an employee, like most of us, you know, but then she decided to open her business and started also sourcing out clients and customers and business for herself. You know, she grew from there, from pillar, from pillar to post, to pillar to power, to where she is today. So it's not all that bad, guys. It is, I feel like Unungu is actually maybe i'm a bit i'm being a bit biased and that's okay okay everyone is but i feel like Unungu is actually bigger you know greater as a person and we just see what we see on the real housewives of durban and that is what i'm about to talk about with her character also it's part of her complexities guys let us not forget Hori. that show more than anything is for our entertainment right so when it is being produced being cooked being curated being manufactured behind the scenes before you see the final product they will definitely go for entertainment value so they will pick and choose exactly what they want you to see what they know will entertain you what they know will bring them ratings what they know will get us talking right so when we talk can we please just remember in the back of our heads some of these people have just put on a character for your entertainment it does not mean it is who they are i see a lot of people quite frankly if i may put it that way who are disrespecting Ununku, especially on this Taylor street so ibolona is no unonku akabazishukuluma like unonku aga understand like ukulmana njani does she always speak like this it's like guys I mean she is entertaining you guys perhaps this is how she speaks or whatever but more than anything you know it does not take away the fact that she's a mom that doesn't take away from the fact that she's a mom she's someone's mom in fact she's three kids right she's a great businesswoman today because you can easily search up her companies and see her records for yourself for yourself right she is big on charity Uno go build houses for people guys do you, do you guys know that Guys, as I said, this woman is very complex. She's in touch with her spirituality. As I said, she's a pastor. As much as in running as a Venus leader in loggerheads. Maybe my spirits. My spirits are like, ah, is it no? You guys, no, 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 no. But also, my girl, no, cool. Okay, as much as the, the character she puts on the show does not take away from who she is and her accomplishments, you know, achievements, her excellency in her rights and whatever. But, oh girl, she's shady. Okay, in that character, she's shady. Because speaking of Slee, how did she just dump Usli? I'm not sure whether I saw it alone or we all saw it, but I felt like she was like rude for Usli from the get go like she was always reading that that's what she jam gani mhlambo yena umthobi umsebenzi oh i don't know what's going on with umsebenzi yes lapha kwa real house of devil eh what's me feel what's here gonna create yet another storyline entertainment guys entertainment what's going to create a storyline i'm 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 fuck this up my mouth is not clean but mhlambo te ah this is a storyline but i think she's she was shady for that but it's not the first time it's not the first time i felt like her and her mom, O Queen, when they were actually bombarding me, I am the with pressure of Uti. Osfiso has his last wish. How oh, two days before Osfiso died? You could have done that anywhere. You could have done that. In, or you could have just, you know, I don't know, wrote her a letter. I do not know. The character on the real housewives of durban you probably know this though it's nothing new okay the character on the real housewives of durban oh child oh child but then it is good for say it with me entertainment this is why we are talking about it child and one thing for sure about our girl Nungu is she will trend, okay? She is outrageous about things and it will definitely get her trending. Because that picture with Mini Lamini, speaking of her character, as much as Umini replied and was like, I love you, mommy, but then, you know, the world is not wrong. 
the world is not round. O girl unoku, she will trend from O Robert Marawa. But yawa linda bali ubu tu inki ni se kete with her. Because I feel like Robert is a catch, you know, and we all thought Robert was a catch. Like, who doesn't think Robert is a catch? Probably your mom thinks Robert is a catch, because I mean, come on now. But then she was like, no, like, uh, uh, no, like, we're not dating. I understand that. Probably Robert was in a relationship at the time. But then, for what she then ended up introducing, I'm just like, Unjazi and Robert. Even like character wise, criminal record wise, like nah. Bro, like, mm, but we are not there because at the end of the day, her choices are hers. And today we're here to talk about what you might not know about her. You know what, like, you might not have known about Unongululek or Williams. That was all for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. You always leave your comment and let me know what's where you are. I mean, I've said my part. As I said, this is a space where I share my mind in hopes that you will share your mind with me. So please make sure that you do share your mind with me. You follow the page, you share it with your friends, your family, whoever might be entertained by all of this, right? When's the channel? Goodbye.